So we need folate and B12 and B6 and magnesium and zinc and the list goes on and on. And so you can imagine if there's any little blockage in this system, it's going to significantly affect the way that they can detoxify chemicals, the way that they're able to fight off pathogens or not, the amount of antibiotics they might need because they can't fight off those pathogens and so on. And then this little box down here is called sulfation. And sulfation is a process that helps to process uh, or detoxify certain food compounds or food chemicals. They're natural. They occur in um, all plant foods, but to some a larger extent than another. So we're going to talk later about salicylates and phenols and amines and glutamates, and they're all processed down here. So again, you need methylation and transsulfuration and all of this working in order to have the nutrients that you need to process some really important nutrient-dense foods. So if we're eating really wonderful foods, but they're creating problems, uh, we need to look at how, the role of biochemistry and how we can support that, either through certain diet changes or through supplementation to support these pathways. And what we see in autism is a significant decrease in glutathione as well as in sulfation. And that's why we see so many of the, well, these are two of the many pathways that can be affected. But these two pathways alone explain so much that I think that they're very important ones to understand.